Welcome guys, this is Joe here as always and today we're on episode 2 of our Multicraft control panel tutorials So yeah, let's get started. So today's episode is going to be how to upload plugins from the Multicraft control panel Then the next episode will be on how to upload plugins through FileZilla Personally, I'd recommend FileZilla, but sometimes it depends on your situation If you're only uploading one or two plugins a week or whatever you're doing This can be easier So uh, yeah, but before we start as always, thank you ServeMind for sponsoring this video and there is a coupon code down in the description to get 10% off your basket. It's LEV Gaming. Make sure you just, just look down in the description and now it's all you know laid out. But yeah, let's get into it. So you need to go to Files, FTP File Access. Just wait for that to load. Now you need to just log in with your Minecraft control panel. So whatever you log in to the main control panel, you use that. So I'm just going to log in, wait for it to load up, right, I'm not going to save a password, but now now you're here, you, you can see all your files, you know, you can delete it or whatever you want to do, go to plugins or wherever you want to put them, so if you're uploading a world or anything like that, so now we're here, so now you want to come over to upload, right then, so you've got two options, you can upload just a file, just a you know, plain file or whatever you want to do, or you can upload ar archive. Yeah, I think I said that. Archive is a zip folder, and that's what we're going to be uploading because instead of just uploading like plugins, you can do like so many, but sometimes this can be quicker. So on my desktop, I have got these plugins. So we've got essentials and group management. Now I'm just going to drag that out of this here, this archive or the zip folder. So now we've got all them, we can just get rid of that. And you got all these, so you want to just select them and you want to zip, uh, add to archive. Now I'm using WinRAR for this and it's going to be down in the description for download. I would recommend this over most, ev nearly everything. I'm going to zip it and we're going to just call it maybe, uh, should we call it um, upload? Nice and simple. So now we've got it. So I'm just, just going to quickly copy that name so I can search for it. So we need to find the file, so we're going to go over to desktop and search for it quickly. Right, there we go. So now we're going to be uploading it and submit. Now, this can be vary on your internet speed and the server speed, but it's normally very quick. We've just got to wait now until it confirms. And there we go. So now it's going to tell you what it's unzipped and that's all fine. So now we can just click back and it should take us back to our hit. Yep, it should take us back to the plugins folder. And now instead of uploading the zip files, you've actually just got the jar file, no zip file in there. So now we can just go back and back. And now we can go over here. So you got your uh, spigot dev 1.8.3. Start your server up. Then we can go into the console. Just to gnaw these, it's because the server wasn't uh, running. But as you can see here, this is from now. So it's just loading everything up, and we should see um, Essentials come online. So yeah, there we go, In Info, Enabling, Essentials, uh, Protect, and everything like that. So now, if you do just PL in the console, and wait for it to register, so now it should say what plugins you're uploading and as you can see all them four are uploaded and uh, sorted. So anyway guys, thank you for watching this episode. Make sure you give it a like, make sure you go and check out Server Miner. And I will see you next time. Goodbye, so please subscribe, like the video, share it, favorite, go and follow me on Twitter. Thank you for watching. This is Joe from Enlu Gaming and I will see you next time. Bye bye.